morning. Oh, wait. I need coffee. Coffee. This guy is one awesome dad. That's what my kids got me for... I don't know if it was a birthday, Father's Day or something. But I know it's about the same time I got the internet installed, so... Yeah. Welcome to a special edition of Internet. This one's all about AT&T's gateways. Sorry for that loud noise. For the gateways. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's good. Wake me up. <clears throat> okay, so. I'm going to take some video shots of the new gateway you got from AT&T. Uh, you're probably looking at it like, uh, okay, this guy did the install. It took him four hours to do it. Didn't even explain anything about the modem. He said, here's your Wi-Fi name and password. Have a good day. I was probably beat, tired, exhausted, crawling through attics and all this stuff. I get it. Uh, my attic sucks. So, yeah, that's my guy kind of left. But I already knew about the AT&T services because I've had it for the past 10 years. So I told him, don't worry about teaching me stuff, educating me. I got this. But for those of you who do not have that experience with AT&T and been with the previous company, let's kind of go over the features of the new gateway you received from AT&T. Another drink of coffee, guys. Great coffee. Anyways, <clears throat> so this is the BGW 210-700. That's the born on date. That is your Wi-Fi name for you naughty people right here. Big no-no. It's my Wi-Fi name and password. You get the first four digits. It's okay. I changed it anyways. For advanced device configuration, go to 192.168.1.254. Uh-oh. Then it's gonna ask for the device access code, which I've also blotted out. Over here, you have your serial number, a part number, your MAC address. All right. Um, I don't suggest going in here and changing it. I'm gonna show you a different way how to do it, unless you've had experience in going into GUIs. Uh, then you can actually go into advanced settings, Wi-Fi, uh, change the 2.4 and the five gigahertz frequencies to a specific name. You can even change the channels on the on the 2.4 card and the 5G card. So you can have some less Wi-Fi interference. All right, we got that part done. Let's look at the other portion of the gateway. Starting starting for the bottom up, BGW210, WPS. This is for hooking up like a printer uh, with no keyboard. Please get a printer with keyboard. Um, it's a few dollars more. This opens up your network so if your neighbor for some reason is doing the exact same thing that you are at the exact same time trust me that'll happen instead of winning a lottery so let's go ahead and not use that for that feature. okay and then you have your phone broadband and power that's super simple these three light these three are light up green if you don't have a phone don't worry about it. broadband if your internet is working you'll have a green solid light with a power light green also it'll go green if it's red, it's because the service has been, the lines may have been cut by a telephone pole, damaged, a tree limb hit the line, your neighbor ran over the front pedestal that has the AT&T and um, you know, communications logos on it. And then there's the uh, AT&T logo. Backside, bottom up, get your power, got your reset. Press the reset once to reset the modem. Press and hold the reset for 20 seconds. Please use a stopwatch or a second hand. It will reboot the gateway back to factory settings. So if you have a custom password that says, I am a land god, it will revert back to the password on the gateway. Phone line one and phone line two. You don't separate it like you used to on the different lines. You just hook it up to, and your phone will have a line one, line two. Your broadband will be for copper and ONT would be for fiber. The technician will let you know which one you're on. You got four ethernet ports in the back, one, two, three, four, or four, three, two, one, and two USB ports. These are five volts, 1.5 amp, one amp. It's not very fast charging, you can charge your phone on it. And then it just says, there is uh, BDGW210. That's pretty much it for that part. All right, another of coffee. God, it's hot. <clears throat> so the AT&T router slash modem gateway, residential gateway, the 
dang black box with the green lights that keep blinking green and red, that's when your service is out. So they're pretty straightforward. They've made this into a simple gateway. There's others, um, 589, 5268, 510, 3800. Trying to remember all the ones I've had. So I've had to call in multiple times like, hey, my gateway don't work, man. The internet sucks. It's not you, it's me. Technician shows up. Hey, man, sorry, it's not you, it's us. It's like, I know. Internet sucks. It's like, no, it's not the internet. It's just the gateway. It's garbage. Let's get you this brand new gateway. I'm like, oh my God, it's a brand new gateway. It's going to have 2.4 card BGN reaching the 600 total megabytes per second and the 5G AC card capacity of 1600 megabytes per second. I don't know what all that means. I know I'm running speed test on my network on 5G AC card. I read about 375 to 400 and some change. Um, when I'm reading 2.4 card, 20 to 50, because it's looking for that BG uh, card. Most, um, like my doorbell ring, it works on 2.4. Um, some of the kids' tablets work on 2.4. A couple of cameras work on 2.4 also. So 5G for like the newer devices, iPhones, new computers that have a 5G 802.11 AC card, stuff like that. So I um, hope you've enjoyed this portion of the new gateway that we received. I'm very happy with it. It's got good power. All right.